What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to check out this CGC unboxing video. You guys know how I like to really just jump into these unboxings. However, this time around, I need to make some acknowledgements before we get started with the unboxing. We had a boost of subs recently uh, that I must acknowledge. So thank you to all the new subs to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Um, I think at the time of this video filming, we were sitting at around 1700 subs. Um, before my last video, I think I was around 1,463 and then it just jumped up to 1700. So I am truly appreciative of all the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome. Thank you. Next, I want to acknowledge everyone that reached out to me or left a comment on my last video, wishing me well. I did mention I had some health issues and those of you that uh, showed me some love and care, I truly want to let you know that I appreciate everyone that reached out to me. Um, I will be doing a giveaway as well. I want to make that known. Uh, I'll show what I'm going to be giving away later on after the unboxing. However, the giveaway will be done on a live. So, uh, on that live, I'll, uh, go into, you know, a little bit more about how I'm doing. Um, and then we're going to do an awesome giveaway on the live. So with those acknowledgements, uh, I got some nice books that I can't wait to open and one of them in particular that I, I'm anxious to see how I did was this book right here. So I purchased this book, uh, as you can see from my comic shop and, um, you can see it was listed at an 8.0, which is very fine. And you see the cost of the book. This book has been hard for me to obtain. Uh, you guys know how I'm a big Miles fan. So this was one of the, the gold books on my list as a Miles fan. And uh, I took a chance on it uh, because I hadn't been able to find one decent uh, that was raw and at a good price. Uh, even though this was not listed as near mint, I thought I would go ahead and grab it anyway because for whatever reason, this book has been hard to come by. So I'm really excited to see, uh, I did uh, clean and press all these books myself. So I'm excited to see how these books turned out. So with that, let's go ahead y'all and we gonna get this unboxing started. Let's do it. We got our nice little CGC box here and I'm gonna practice safety. I like to look at you guys and be engaged, but I know I got to be careful when I'm opening these boxes here. So, um, we are going to get everything unpacked. Oh, okay. Oh, there's tape on this. That's, that's new. Uh, CGC is being extra secure and, uh, that's awesome. So I got a little bit more work to do. Usually the bubble wrap is just around it, but there's no, no tape around it. But let me see if I can quickly get this open. All right. I appreciate the protection, CGC. I appreciate it. All right. And then we got some uh, cardboard and rubber banding. Ooh, I don't want to get popped. All right, let's see, get rid of the cardboard. Oh my goodness, sorry y'all, it's taking a minute. And we're gonna try not to look at the books as we're gonna be surprised to see how I did y'all with my pressing and cleaning. Let's take a look at the first book, I'm going to cover the grade. It is, oh, this is Wolverine issue number eight. Uh, this is the awesome Clayton Crane variant and we got a 9.8. All right, all right. We starting off wonderful. Y'all, I can't tell you how much I love this cover. 
I, I, I know people have certain feelings about Clayton Crane and, you know, things that happen in his personal life. But before all that went down, I had always been a fan of his art. And I got to tell you, this is, this is one of my favorite Wolverine covers. I absolutely love it. And I added the new Wolverine custom label to this one. And um, yeah, this book sells for a pretty good amount. Uh, and I don't think it's a key at all. Uh, oh, it looks so nice. Absolutely nice. Um, but it's, it's just one of those covers that go for a premium. So I'm excited. We starting off good, 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 good. All right. Let's get it out. The next book we have is, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the, uh, let me see. Issue number one, the J. Scott Campbell variant. He did a lot of variants for the newest Spider-Man run. Uh, there were some awesome covers. Of course, <laughs> I went after the Miles Morales cover and we got a 9.8. All right, all right. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Now, this is also the new Miles custom label. They changed it up, so he has a new custom label. And uh, this looks awesome. Oh, it has something on, uh, I don't know if it'll be visible, but that's what the back of the Miles label looks like. Um, so yeah, oh, it's, he's saying something, and y'all know I can't see it because I don't have all my readers. Maybe it'll show up good enough for you guys to be able to see, but he has, um, you know, some words there, but I absolutely love this, uh, J Scott Campbell miles cover. Uh, Oh, just so you see the, the other variants that, uh, this issue, uh, came out with, uh, they were all awesome. Um, the whole set <laughs> was quite expensive. Congratulations to anyone that was able to get the whole set. Uh, anyone who got the full set signed, uh, congrats to you. Uh, this was the main cover that I wanted and I love it. 9.8. Oh, and let's go full disclosure on this. No press. I just gave it a light cleaning with some, uh, you know, light wipes and um, cotton rounds, by the way, hypoallergenic cotton rounds. And uh, yeah, I gave it a, a look and it didn't need a press in my opinion. So there it is. No press on this one. And we got a 9.8. Fantastic. All right, we're still rolling. I like the way this is going. Next book is, oh, Venom issue number four. And this is the awesome ASM 300 homage cover. And we got another 9.8. Come on, y'all. Yes. And on this one, we have the Lethal Protector custom label. And uh, I'm really digging that as well. And I think this is a, a key issue in some way. You know, it's debatable about is it a cameo? Is it a first full of a character named Bedlam? But I love this cover. I think it's one of the best homages to uh, ASM 300. And uh, I am so happy to have it in a 9.8. Let's see. This one doesn't really have anything on the back as far as the custom label. But let me give you guys a close up again because there is something uh, behind the 9.8. So this is awesome. Oh my goodness. All right. So that means drum roll, please. The book that I bought as an 8.0. Uh, let's go ahead and see how I did, y'all. So this is Spider-Man issue number 12. Uh, this is, I don't know if you want to call it a key, but it's, it's a big book for whatever reason. It's the first kiss between Gwen and Miles. And um, this book in particular, I believe was a one in 25 or a one in 50. I'll verify that and I'll put it across the bottom. Uh, but it's not easy to get. And uh, I looked at the census as far as how many of these are available. And I'm going to share that with you. But let's look at the grade first. All right. From an 8.0 to a 
No way. 9.8. You better shut the front door. No way. Oh my gosh. No way. What? Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I got this book in that good of shape. Uh, I need a minute, y'all. I got need a minute to close my mouth. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> so I got the custom <laughs> miles label on this one. And, uh, I am in shock right now. I think I have a magical press. Oh my goodness. I can't tell y'all how shocked and happy I am at the same time. This is amazing. So you guys seen how much I paid for this book in an 8.0 grade. Uh, and if you've ever purchased books from my comic shop, I think their grades are pretty spot on. Uh, they've been in business for a really long time. So uh, they know what they're doing as far as grading their raw books. Um, so I, and when I got the book, I thought the grade was pretty spot on. I did agree with the grade that they determined for uh, this book. Um, so Let's go ahead. I'm going to take a moment to see if I can find uh, any type of sales data uh, regarding this book. All right, guys. So I did take a quick look to see if I could find any sales data uh, for this book in a 9.8. And to my surprise, there wasn't uh, any recent sales data available. Uh, there was like a sale, a high sale of around $2,300. That was back in 2020. Um, I think the average sale for this book is around uh, $1,700, but that's about all I have. I don't have anything to uh, give you a recent FMV or anything like that. So that prompted me to look at the CGC census. Maybe there just aren't a lot of copies of this book out there. Um, and it was very hard for me to find. I've been trying to find this book for like two years. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the CGC census together. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that up on the screen and we'll go ahead and look at the data. All right, so it looks like as of the making of this video, there were 132 copies of this book on the CGC census. And out of 132 copies, only 25 of them are a 9.8. Oh my goodness. So that may explain the lack of data for uh, sales in a 9.8. There are only 25 on CGC census. I know there are other grading companies out there, but since this is the one that I'm using, this is the uh, census that I'm gonna look at. So um, <laughs> I feel extremely lucky now to have gotten this book in such a great shape and, and pull a 9.8 out of an 8.0. I still can't believe that y'all, but um, it looks like the majority of the data, uh, excuse me, the majority of the grades are in a 9.6 and that's understandable considering this is a, you know, a negative space black cover, um, which I could see making it tough to get in a 9.8 and, uh, you know, I took my time on it and, did the best I could and the results paid off. Y'all know how happy this makes me as a miles collector. I, I, I can't believe it. So real quick, we're just gonna look at the books one more time and then we're going to talk about what I am giving away. Um, we have to celebrate. We have. I was just gonna give away an art print uh, because of the number of subscribers that joined, but now I am uh, going to have to throw something else in the pot just to celebrate this grade. Uh, I mean, to, to get a book for 
less than two hundred dollars and and have it uh, a potential um you know 2k book now is amazing so uh those are the books guys thank you for tuning in if you want to stick around and see what i'm going to be giving away i'm about to pull that out right now uh again I will be doing the actual giveaway uh, on a live. I like to try and do those live if I can. That way everyone gets to see the results. And y'all know I'm a Miles collector, but I never give anything away that's Miles because I collect Miles, so I don't give it away. But this time the prize is a Miles Morales art print. At least one of the prizes are. So here it is. It is awesome. Nice and glossy. And this is signed by the artist. It's kind of hard to see because uh, it's down there, but you can see it. So I had this one signed by the artist, uh, which is uh, Dominic Glover. I'll put his Instagram across the bottom. He has awesome art. Uh, I actually met him at an art show that he did out here and bought these prints from him uh, and got them personally signed uh, at the art show. Uh, and I did that for you guys. This print was never going to be hung in my home. I bought this print for my subscribers. So hopefully uh, if there are any of you that appreciate uh, this nice art print and you are a Miles fan, that uh, this will go to a good home because I bought it for you. So. That is one of the giveaway prizes. What I'm also probably going to do is I'm probably going to give away some Miles comic books. So we'll see that on the live. Um, I might even do a surprise on the live as well. But there will be definitely two things given away. Uh, I'll give away maybe like a, um, a set of Miles books along with the art print. If you are interested in entering this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video. Uh, give me feedback, what did you think? Um, just let me know something. Uh, these are going to be for subscribers only. I had a big boost again in subscribers, so I wanna make sure that this art print and the comic books go to a subscriber uh, because I do wanna make sure that I'm showing appreciation for you subbing to my channel. And then I'll try to find something and do like a third surprise giveaway, but you have to be on the live for that particular giveaway. So we got two for sure, and then one that will be a surprise just for showing up to the live. I'll make sure I have that scheduled so that you can see it um, beforehand. Usually when I go live, I don't schedule it. I just kind of pop in, but for the purpose of the giveaway, just in case you want to be there, I'll make sure I schedule it ahead of time. In the meantime, uh, I know I get a lot of questions about pressing and what I do and things like that. And uh, I know I've been saying that I'm going to share uh, how I learned, uh, what sites did I visit, who did I follow, um, what did I read? Uh, and I am still going to do that. Again, I had to take some time to you know, focus on myself and get myself together. And again, I'll address that in the live. You know, I'll go into a little more detail on that, but I will still get that pressing video made. It won't be a tutorial. It's just gonna show you what I did so that I could learn how to press books. So that will be a future video that I still plan on bringing out for you guys. And um, my next video is probably gonna be <laughs> a statue unboxing. I have a really cool statue. Uh, sometimes I do shorts on them. Other times I, uh, will do a review on them. This one will probably be a review. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, my next video. I know not everyone is a statue collector, but I like to mix it up from time to time and not just do the, uh, CGC unboxings, but I hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, guys, you know what to do. Show your collection some love and take care.